It's finally my turn to receive the traveling makeup box. I wanted to show you guys what I picked out of the box and what I am tossing back in. If you're unaware of what's going on, I'll link Ashley's channel down in the description box. Her name is Texas Mommy Boys and she started a swap where she added in some makeup products. She then sent it off to the group of girls that are adding in and taking out products and then whatever's left over at the very end then she's going to donate it to a women's shelter so I thought that was pretty cool so I definitely wanted to contribute a large amount of products especially because I'm the last girl to receive this before it goes back to Ashley so anyway let me show you really quick what I chose out of the box and can I just say the box is massive and I was so tempted to pull out a ton of stuff, a ton of lipsticks, but I tried to be good and I only picked out, I think I picked out seven things. So let me show you real quick. This first one is a product that I've heard talked about all over YouTube and I've really had my eye on it for a while, but I just didn't want to make a ColourPop order to purchase it. So this is the ColourPop Lippy Sticks in the shade Bound and this is one of their glossy formulas other lipsticks and I've just heard so much about this on YouTube and it seems like the perfect pink color so that's it right there and there is a quick swatch of it. I really feel like this is sort of a cherish kind of lipstick. It's that light pinky pinky nude kind of color so really excited to use this and then one of my all-time favorite eyeliners in the world is the Too Faced Perfect Eyes Waterproof Eyeliner and there was a little mini in there so I snagged this one up. This one stays in my waterline. I feel like this is one of the best waterline eyeliners. I can also use it up on the upper lash line too so I'm just going to sharpen this one up and I, I highly recommend this. If you're hunting for a really good waterline eyeliner this is definitely one that I recommend. There was also another eyeliner in here and I only have two black eyeliners in my collection currently and one of them is a little mini that's about that big and the other one is about that big. And then I'm out of black pencil liners. So I saw this one in there. This is the Kat Von D Autograph Pencil in the shade Black Metal Love and it looks like it's a black with some shimmer. It looks like it's brand new too. Yeah, there's definitely little silver shimmers. You you probably won't be able to see it, but really happy to have scored two little mini eyeliners since I'm almost out of the black ones that I have. Then I saw that there was a mini of the Glam Glow Youth Mud Tingle Exfoliate Treatment. This is one of my favorite treatments and I have dry skin but I really enjoy this for the exfoliating purposes because I exfoliate constantly. So I snagged this up. I was actually thinking about purchasing this at the next VIB sale. So really happy to have a little a little guy here to hold me off until that next sale. I was very tempted by everything that Amber F added in, but there was a couple things that I could not pass by. So she did add in quite a few of the, um, what are they called, Z palettes, and I really wanted to get the little one, but then I thought I would hold off on the little Z palette and I would just grab one of the larger ones that she added in. So this is the one that I picked up. It's a large one, but you know, you can use it like you would any other palette. It's magnetized in here. You can put like MAC shadows or whatever shadows that are depotted. You can add them into this and then you can actually see through the top. So I thought that was really cool and I've never had a Z palette before, so I was really excited that this was in there. And then there were two final items, and I went back and forth on these because I really wanted them, and I wanted the other one that she added in too, but I picked up some of these Dazzle Shadows from MAC. This one is in the shade Try Me On, and I feel like that is probably the most beautiful mermaid-esque shadow ever. Um, I think these will do really, really nice with Fix Plus. I think that would probably be the best way to wear them. 
That's a swatch of the shade Try Me On. So that is a swatch of Try Me On, and they're kind of like a duochrome shifting shadow. So this one's definitely like a blue to a yellowy teal kind of shift to it. And then the other one was in the shade Slow Fast Slow, and this one's really pretty. So that's what Slow Fast Slow looks like. I'll give you a quick swatch of that. That one is gorgeous. And there was a swatch of it too. So I just think these are stunning. I couldn't pass them up. I have, I, I'm such a sucker for MAC products. So really happy about these. And I can't believe she added them in. So anyway, that was all that I picked up. I just picked up those seven items. Let me show you what I added in. I feel like I kind of went a little overboard, but since I'm the last person to have it and it's just going straight to her, I thought it would be okay. So I have quite a few new products that I'm adding in and some that are lightly used. So this first one, this is the Clinique Cheek Pop in the shade 04 Plum Pop, and I just don't wear this color very much. I love these uh, cheek pop blushes from Clinique. I have another one too and I really want the nude one but this pink is just so bright on my skin. I'm so fair that this is just really intense and I feel like it might be just a smidgen too warm for my skin tone. So that was Plum Pop. I also added in this Bare Minerals loose blush in the shade Beauty. Anyway, this is just a very, you know, very pale light pink color. It's really pretty. I just don't like the mess of loose blushes or loose products in general. Then I have a Laura Geller product. This is the Baked Blush and Brighten in the shade Tropic Hues. Just a little mini kind of blush and highlighter product. I've swatched this once. It's very reminiscent of NARS Orgasm, but just with a little bit more of an apricot tone to it. It's really pretty though. I just don't feel like this complements my skin very well and I don't see myself reaching for it. I'd rather reach for something else. So this one is going in. I also have a couple highlighters here. This first one, oh, I've had to go back and forth on this product about 18 gazillion times because I've only used this twice. And even though it's absolutely gorgeous, I, I just don't use it. This is the Bobbi Brown Shimmer Shimmer Brick in the shade Copper Diamond. It's just way too gold. So that's what the front looks like there. And that is the product on the inside. It's just too gold for my skin tone. The next highlighter is one from the drugstore. I really liked this for a while, but I just reach for other things right now and I haven't reached for it and I don't want it to turn off. This is the Bonnie Bell Blend and Glow. It says on here it's a natural blush face powder, but it's a highlight. So that's what the front of it looks like there. And then it has these four little quadrants and you can either mix them together and use, you know, one swatch out of all of them or you can concentrate your brush on individual shades but this is actually a really nice product i just don't reach for it so brand new covergirl lash blast lengths i have 18 gazillion mascaras i need to get rid of some of them here's a powder from makeup forever it's one of their micro finish powders the hd micro finishing powder Loose, I don't even, I think I peeled off the tape, but I haven't used it, so I just don't use loose powders. So I have four NARS lip products here. This first one, <sighs> I've went back and forth on this lipstick about six or seven times as well. This is the lipstick in the shade Damage. This is quite similar to the MAC lipstick in Syrup. These don't come with a lot of lipstick in them, so I was thinking maybe I'll just use it up this year and then, you know, get it out of the way. But it's such a pretty shade. I think it would be perfect for the fall time. So that's what Damage looks like. It's just kind of like a grape mauve kind of color. It's really pretty. I just don't have hardly any pigment to my lips, so 
even this shows up really intense on my lips and I would rather just pass it on to somebody that would absolutely love it instead of me working my way through it over a couple of months and not enjoying it. So then I have, I bought a big set of NARS lip pencils. Was it this last Christmas? Not this last Christmas, but I think the Christmas before. This one is the NARS Satin Lip Pencil in Torres de Pain. Torres del Pain. And it's just a very, you know, nice corally pink color. Very, very neutral. I think if you paired a pink gloss over the top, it would look really gorgeous. Another lip pencil. This is actually the full size of the NARS. Cruella Velvet Matte Lip Pencil and I got the birthday gift so I figured I could get rid of my full size one. That is a swatch of Cruella. It's a deeper, more intense red, a little bit of a darker red. I think it looks beautiful on everybody. And the last NARS one is just a nude one. This came out of a set as well. This is the NARS Pure Matte Lipstick in the shade Film Star and it's more of like a yellowy nude. So that's what it looks like there. It looks like a concealer, but it's a nude lipstick. An Urban Decay lipstick here. This is one of their old... They just replaced this packaging and came out with the new Vice lipsticks. This one's in the shade Obsessed. And I was planning to finish this off for the year, and then I realized, why would I force myself to use it if it's not one of my favorite colors? So when I initially picked this up, I picked up the wrong color. I think I was looking for the shade Native, and I ended up with Obsessed. It's just a little bit too bright, too pink for me. It looks really beautiful in the swatch. It's a beautiful color. I was just looking for something different, and I ended up with this, so it's just a little too bright for my liking. Two ColourPop lippy sticks. One of them is in Pepper, which is the purple, and then the other one is in Fancy. Fancy is a satin, and Pepper is a matte. Ooh, that is Pepper right there. Pepper is crazy intense on the lips, and then this is Fancy right here. That one. I have a Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick. This is in the shade Bella. This is crazy bright. Um, I have the MAC lipstick in, what is the bright pink one? Candy Yum Yum. So I would definitely reach for that over this because I don't like the feeling of a matte liquid lipstick on the lips. I have not put this on my lips. I don't like the feeling of matte liquid lipsticks. I prefer a lip gloss or a standard lipstick. So this has never been on my lips, but it's intense very intense in the tube. I did swatch it on my hand. I have four Clinique lipsticks here. This first one, oh, this was so hard for me because I really love this lipstick. As crazy as it looks in the tube, it's actually really pretty on the lips. This is called Pink Bamboo. And that is a swatch of pink bamboo right there. It's really gorgeous on the lips. It just adds a really nice kind of like a glaze to the lips. The next one is Raspberry Glacé. This one is gorgeous in the fall. It's more of like a raspberry kind of berry color. That's it there. Then there's one in a different grape. This one's fun for the fall time too. It was hard for me to get rid of this one as well. That is a different grape right there. And then the final one, I have two of them here because the one that I'm putting in the the makeup box swap is brand new. It's this one. It's completely brand new. Never been swatched. And mine has been swatched. This is in the shade Shy. And so that is Shy built up quite a bit. So this is a really nice one to wear in the fall time as well. So it's very moisturizing. I really like the shade Shay. I really like this one a lot. I'm gonna set this one out so I remember to wear it. Then I have some brand new stuff from the drugstore I can toss in. Well this one's not from the drugstore. This is a brand new Bare Minerals Mar Marvelous Moxie Gloss in the shade Maverick. I also have a brand new CoverGirl lipstick in one of my favorite colors. This is 258 Honeyed. I think they've actually discontinued this color, but I do already have another one. I have three Wet n Wild lipsticks. Two of them are 
this kind of packaging. They're both sealed. This is this one's Cherry Bomb. This one's in Bear It All. And then this one is in their new packaging. I have a second one of these that's already open. This one's in 503C. Uh, will you be with me? I really like the pink of this one, if you can see what it is. It's very neutral and it comes off like a satin, I would say a satin matte kind of color. So all three of these are still sealed. I have three of the Pacifica Color Quench Lip Tints, all in three different colors. This one is Vanilla Hibiscus, this one is Blood Orange, and then this last one on the end is Coconut Nectar. All three of these tinted lip balms, brand new. Another Burt's Bees product, this is the Strawberry Lip Shimmer. This has been in one of my favorites videos before, really love this color and I really like the scent on those. And this is a Baby Lips. This was a limited edition one in the shade 190, Oh Orchid. I actually had this in my most recent Project Ten Pan. I have a blue Marcel eyeliner here. I've only used it like twice, and this came from Birchbox. I have a sample here from Porefessional. I know we're not supposed to add in samples, but I just figured um, if she'll use it, I'll send it out her way. I keep getting these. This is the Porefessional um, face primer. Just a little guy of it there. So I'll toss that one in. If she doesn't like it, if Ashley doesn't like it, then maybe somebody at the shelter will. Super fast because this is getting crazy. I have a ton of Clinique products as well. So there's some eyeshadows here. This is There are some purples in this one. This is a really pretty trio. It was so hard for me to get rid of this one. I also have this one here. This is gorgeous. Um, this color reminds me of one of the shades out of the Laura Mercier Eye Art Artist palettes. So there's that one. And then this blush up here it has not been touched. I also have this one that has more of like neutral colors with the teal in there. These are really beautiful shadows. I have a ton of Clinique eyeshadows, so I need to send some off. Here's one with some more purples. That is what this one looks like. This color here, this is really vibrant. This one's actually brand new. I have a backup of this. So there are two eyeshadows. They have a purpley tone to them and then a blush, and that blush has not been used either. The little blush brush still has its little wrapper over the top. This is a gorgeous little traveling trio here. I really like this combination of the eyeshadows. It looks really great on the eyes. Mine, I'm all, I've almost hit pan on the one that I've been using. So here's the last one that I have here. These are so pretty. And it, it, Clinique shadows always make for a really soft, easy eye look. It never looks too overdone. But anyway, those are all of the shadows. And I think that's it. So that's everything I'm adding in. Make sure that you go over and follow Ashley. See what she takes out at the very end. I'll link all of the girls that were included in this swap down below. You can go check out their channel and kind of follow the progression of the box. And that's it. So I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.